Hawks, welcome to another episode of the Hawkett News. I'm Tessa. And I'm Charlie. Happy Thursday, everyone. We're so excited to share yet another new segment to the show. I think this might be the best segment yet, but first, let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all for standing with us. Tessa, did you know that's National Frappe Day today? Charlie, it's frap. Yeah, how did you even know that? We really need to get some coffee in here soon, especially some pumpkin spice in order of National Coffee Day, of course. Ew, I think those are disgusting drinks, but you know what isn't? Cue the announcements. Hosa will be selling Italian cream sodas every single Friday during lunch. Those delicious drinks will be located in front of Miss Eiler's room, room 128. Please stop by to get your own sweet treat during lunch. Also, don't forget, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, your time is running out. If you want to do SATs, please sign up at the counseling office. There's only a limited seats. There's only limited seats available, so you better get on over there. The price is still sell only $17, and the test is on October 13th, so mark your calendars. This will be your daily reminder that... You upperclassmen need to get your waiver applications in order if you want to be eligible to leave during extension next quarter. Please sign up a, for a meeting spot on your junior slash senior seminar class in G Google Classroom. You can also find more information there. Your time is coming up, so try to get on that ASAP, even you soccer players out there. Hey, you soccer players, if you are interested in soccer, please fill out an online survey through Extension, or you can even use the QR codes that will be around school. Ms. Bernheim needs to know how many players are actually that we actually have. Speaking of sports... You senior flag players out there will love this. We have a slideshow from your senior night that we hope you all will enjoy. Looks like everyone had a great time out there. I can't believe this season is already over. I'm so proud of you girls. Me too, but as promised, we have a new segment for y'all. I'm proud to announce the, it's Wheel Unfortunate. We want to let Cohen do most of the explaining. Me and Tessa both know you're looking forward to this more than us. Welcome to Wheel Unfortunate. I am the host of the segment, Cohen Court. Throughout the semester, I'll be selecting one person randomly from a pool of people to undergo some form of unfortunate reward, ideally something that is not very pleasant. The first group of people I'll be selecting from is here at the Hawk Hit News. First of all, let's determine the loser. Alright, let's start off by determining who will be going, receiving the punishment. Uh, Seth. Ah! Nice, go spin the wheel, baby! Go spin the wheel! Let's do this. I'm here with Seth to spin the wheel. All right. Play-Doh to the face, oh you poor soul. Now, let's go and see the results for the punishment. Well, Seth, here's your punishment. <laughs> now that's unfortunate! Oh my gosh, poor Seth, that Play-Doh was brutal and this is only the beginning. I'm just glad it wasn't me. We hope all of you guys enjoyed that first segment of Will Unfortunate at our, at our own expense, of course. Darn it, Charlotte, I really thought it was going to be me. Anyways, you all have to stay tuned for the next episode. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Anyway, Hawks, that's all we have for today. We will see you next week. Bye! <laughs>